Hi guys, Heather here. Today's video request comes from Cute Sugar Bunny. Isn't that like a super cute name? It totally reminds me of like Easter and those marshmallow sugary bunny peeps. I used to love those so much. So I want to say hi to Cute Sugar Bunny. And our first question is, what should she take to lunch? Like on a long 12 hour day. So when I first started nursing, I would eat breakfast in the morning. I'm so a breakfast person. I cannot not eat breakfast. So I eat breakfast and then I have a snack like around 10 o'clock. I'd usually have like saltine crackers, like maybe 10 crackers or so. And then peanut butter and jelly or that microwavable macaroni and cheese for lunch, extra cheesy, of course. And honestly, I can't remember eating anything else. I rarely ate in the cafeteria. That was like my weekend treat or something, which is good because it's kind of overpriced. And, uh, and then I think I would go home and have dinner but now I don't really eat dinner when I go home, so I probably just eat more. I eat more during the day. I don't know how I wasn't starving back then. But I used to take sandwiches a lot, like ham and cheese or tuna, and then I think I got really burnt out, and that's why I started not taking them. But with my sandwiches, I'd have like wheat thin crackers or Triscuits or fruit, you know, apples, bananas, grapes, carrots, something like that. And that's like really all I can remember. I don't know. I don't know why. I didn't keep a food diary, so that's about all I can tell you on that. But I noticed that a lot of the nurses um, that I used to work with, they liked the lean cuisine, like microwavable dishes, dishes, um, or healthy choice, or whatever those microwavable things are. I personally do not really care for them, but they're pretty popular, so you might want to try taking some of those sometime for lunch. So what I like to take now is string cheese. String cheese is awesome. Um, I really like almonds, habanero barbecue, darn tasty, and uh, they also have toffee, chocolate mint, which I found at Walmart in like a big bag. And uh, But personally, I would be really, really happy if they just put a Taco Bell in every cafeteria so I could eat a bean and cheese burrito every day. I would be the happiest girl ever. But here's just a little warning for you from nurse to nursing student, nurse to future nurse. Sometimes lunches get stolen out of the refrigerator. I usually keep mine in my locker no matter what. I don't care because some random person will just come up and steal a lunch. And I, I hear it all the time from the nurses, you know, saying that their lunch is missing. I don't know who would do that, but it happens. Hmm. Should I report a stolen lunch? I remember working with this one nurse's aide and her lunch got stolen. And she said, well, they probably needed it more than I did. And I was like, well, that's a good attitude, but still not right. And the next question is, how long should we take breaks? And really, during a 12-hour shift, we're allowed two 15-minute breaks and one 30-minute break. And sometimes it's kind of hard to take both 15, so I might forfeit one, you know, because I'm too busy. But if I can take, like, all three, I'll take all three. When I first started agency nursing, I was so crazy busy with seven patients that I didn't take any of my breaks and I ended up staying over to finish my work. I ended up working like 14 hours. So I was eating my lunch at like 11 o'clock at night and I was thinking to myself, this is not right. I deserve to eat and take breaks and go to the restroom when I need to go. I shouldn't be abusing myself. My mentality at the time was, well, I have to catch up on my work and I have to do this, this, and this before I can go on a break. And then something else would come up for me to do. And then I realized that the work never ended and I would get really frustrated. I want to hurt somebody because I was hungry. So be nice to yourself and take your breaks. The work will still be there when you get back, except after you eat, you'll at least have some sanity to help you through it. And then you won't want to hurt anybody. The key is to take your breaks when you don't have anything urgent to do, or if you know you're going to have a discharge or an admit, then plan around that. Some things can wait. You don't have to finish everything before you take a break. It's just not possible, so don't even try it. Unless you don't like eating or taking breaks. Well, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.